Hey girls, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. In today's vlog, my first vlog, I am gonna take you throughout the day a little bit. It's actually my birthday, so at the time this goes up, my birthday would have been like last week. Um, but Pat and I are about to go out and we are trying this new restaurant right in Laguna Beach. We're doing like a little brunch thing. We haven't eaten there before, so I'll show you guys what we are wearing and then um, I'll show you a little bit over there and then when we get back, I think I'm gonna open up a couple of gifts from Pat. And yeah, we'll just go from there, my first vlog. Okay, so this is what I am wearing. It's about like 60 degrees outside. I don't know if on the water we're eating like right on the ocean. I don't know if it's gonna be windy. So I have a little cashmere scarf on and then this little turtleneck sweater I actually shared in a haul with you guys. But it is a 100% cashmere, Mongolian cashmere turtleneck sweater. It's by the brand Quince. I love them. They are basically, they sell straight to you, like consumer, what's it called, manufactured or consumer? Straight. Yeah, they're straight to consumer. So there's no markup by selling it at a retailer or whatever, amazing price. Um, I have a whole haul here on my channel, but I think I'll be warm and cozy in these little boots. I'll leave everything linked down below. And then Pat's outfit, is that an essential tee? Mm-hmm. Essential tea from Abercrombie, which if you guys just saw our last video, we shared an Abercrombie haul, um, couples haul, which the package, <laughs> everything I ordered from that haul didn't come. So I kind of scrambled, but I feel like it's still a lot of really good basics, really good items. So that's what his t-shirt is, an essential tea. Joggers are old from, Oh goodness. that's all right. I feel like it was like a street brand, like a, yeah. and then the overcoat, Pat, where's that one from? Represent. Represent. Represent joggers and then this is Abercrombie. Oh, is Abercrombie? Yep. Oh, nice. So we're kind of went with a neutral theme. I do sometimes like when Pat and I to go out, like we sort of coordinate, I feel like, most of the time. Sure. In case we get a photo afterwards. Just in case. birthday gifts to me. It is the YSL Saint Laurent Centura belt. Um, I got it in the tan which actually matches back Ooh. to uh, <laughs> my Cassandra medium bag and I don't know if you, if you guys follow me on stories. I have wanted this bag. It came out in 2020 I believe. Okay. I've wanted it since then. I love top handle. I love square bags. You guys know I carry my um, vintage Louis Vuitton all the time and I just love that shape. And so Pat and I literally drove down to San Diego to look at secondhand bags, like these bags already loved, like worn and then like on the market for resale. And we drove down there and I thought I was gonna get the mini one, but I felt like it was way too hard to open the bag up to put your phone in and anything else, keys, your little card holder, like anything like that. And I, I'm someone that has a really hard time making an investment purchase like this because designer items i have such an appreciation for the quality and the beauty but it is like serious money and i feel like despite doing like what like all fashion hauls and like fashion content to me it really has to be worth it if you're gonna spend a lot of money on it i feel like you know we work really hard for money so it needs to just be like the best investment the best I don't know, the best everything for me to be able to like sleep at night <laughs> with, with the purchase. And so I was just like, there's no way I can go home with the mini because I just feel like you want to be able to open the bag really easily and throw your stuff in there. And this was just so tight and small. So anyways, we left that reseller. It was Fashion File in um, Carlsbad, like San Diego County. And so then it started me looking again and you guys, I've spent months looking because I want a good price. I want it to be in good condition. This beige color is really hard to come across. And I was a little devastated, but I was like, it has to be, it just has to be worth it. It's so much money. Like luxury goods are so expensive. It has to be worth it. And so then I was like scouring the internet again, which I mean, this has been months and months. Honestly, been almost like a couple years on and off. I keep looking. And uh, long story short, there's literally no medium size. It feels like everyone that bought them when they first came out have not sold theirs. Like, I think they just love it so much. And so, anyways. Here we are. 
here we are and I purchased it right from a Saint Laurent which when you purchase direct from them you have like really pretty packaging I have a box for this like a nice card like all all the things the ribbon it's like beautiful um, where like if you purchase from like Nordstrom or somewhere else like that you don't you don't get that it's sometimes just kind of thrown in a bag or I don't know I mean I kind of just would like to have the packaging if you're paying the same price you know so anyways I've only had this bag now for I think a couple of weeks I didn't even tell you like I wanted to do an unboxing for YouTube I did film like a little TikTok and reel which I haven't posted yet um, but I want to give you guys a good review like after using it carrying it out styling it give you my thoughts um, but so far I have absolutely been in love this is like the grain dupe for door or something like that so it has like a texture to it which is really nice it's not a smooth calfskin leather with that the calfskin leather or lambskin leather very soft and you are able to scratch it more easily so this has like a pebbled kind of grain to it which I'm just very excited about I feel like this will definitely test the what's the saying test longevity the the longevity but what's the saying like test the tail of time or like the test the there is a saying <laughs> okay we don't know but anyways very excited about this and so for my birthday um pat had kind of mentioned it and i was like you know i've, I've been wanting to invest you guys know if you've been following me for the last couple of years i'm definitely trying to scale back to more of a capsule wardrobe but i still love fun trends and things like that so i just really believe in investing in those core items that you'll style over and over again and so anyways um i've been meant i've been wanting like to invest in a belt or two i don't know for a long time now so once we got that i was like well now you're gonna need the belt you know and so you got it for my birthday which is so sweet this leather it is a very um what <laughs> which is so sweet <laughs> Um, but this is, a, it's leather and it does have a slight texture to it. I can, um, look at, I'll put it down below, of course, so you can read a little bit more about it. It's not like calf skin or lamb skin smooth, so I don't worry about it scratching, um, as easily as that would be. There is a slight texture to it, which is just really nice. And I just love that it matches. I feel like it'll be really beautiful and easy to do styling. This is the smaller of two sizes. You can kind of see how small the um, logo is, which I really, really like. Definitely more minimal logo is definitely what's kind of more in, but it does come in a bigger, wider belt version. And then of course you can find a lot of designer items with like massive logos, like Louis Vuitton. I mean, they kind of all have them, but I definitely like how refined this is. Again, I feel like this is just such a good investment because it's not screaming designer, but it does have obviously the logo. And I think it's just more subtle and just really beautiful. I'm free. You want to show everybody your patty burgers tea? <laughs> I found this graphic to you guys a while ago. <laughs> Pat, you know, obviously it's, Pat's it actually has a huge graphic. Wait, yes, yeah, yeah, you want to show it? But it was from Abercrombie, and I immediately purchased it because it says Patty's Burgers, which I call Pat Patty all the time. And then on the back, I don't appreciate. <laughs> and then on the back, it's just this massive graphic. <laughs> but it's very comfy. Show. Very comfy. Of course, it's Sorry, Abercrombie, except. so it's always. Ruby, come here. You wanna say hi? Pat also got me these flowers. They're so beautiful with the greenery. They're such a big bouquet. I actually split them up in two um, different vases. I'll show you guys the other one too, but really, really beautiful. I didn't even know she split them. Then here is the second one. Really, really beautiful. You gonna make me some coffee? That's fine. Yeah, right. I'm the better coffee maker in this household. <laughs> yes, I am. My brown sugar. You know, one trick. Brown sugar. What's your trick? Cold foam. Delicately cast. All right, let's see across. it. <laughs> I actually have future business plan. You do? I told people at work. No, you didn't. I can't disclose I feel like... all my information, but it's going to be called <laughs> and it's going to be a specialty coffee store. Would you like to elaborate? You don't want to give it away? No, some just proprietary information. Oh my gosh. Pat's been so into... Every day I swear Pat comes home and he has nothing to share except like massive coffee reels. Like he's constantly watching coffee, what, shorts, reels, TikToks, Pat? All the short form content. Pat is on it with the coffee stuff. And it's so funny because we both are super into coffee now, but... Previously, when I first started drinking coffee, I couldn't do it, you guys. I thought everything that I tasted from specifically Pat and then his, my sister-in-law um, and then my brother-in-law 
because those two are huge coffee people. Um, everything I tasted, I was like, this is so sweet. Like I felt like just too sweet. I'm like, I don't like this at all. And then it was funny because one day I was like, well, I'm gonna get into coffee. And I woke up, I drank black coffee. I love black coffee. And everybody's like, what the heck? You used to be someone that like wouldn't come near coffee. And then I immediately went straight into black coffee. So we use the um, Lavazza Espresso. We both really like that. I just get it on Amazon in like a pack. Okay, so this is a double shot of espresso. We have our cute little Malibu farm cups. It says Lita Marina. That's the one that's closest to us, but we've been in the original two on the actual Malibu pier. If you guys are ever in OC or up in LA, like 1,000% go here. They have such amazing food. Everything's like farm fresh. I actually have their cookbook somewhere in here. Up here it is Sunrise to Sunset. I haven't tried a lot of recipes yet. I just got it, but literally one of our favorite, favorite places to eat. It's amazing. We've been trying to incorporate cacao in more things. Um, there's a lot of studies behind it that improves like your what brain functioning um, as you age, especially linked with like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. I think it has like shown like decreases in that. It's healthy. It's we'll just healthy. Science. <laughs> well, that is true. Decreased. Jeez Louise. But while your coffee's hot, you can easily blend in cacao or like Britt likes to do brown sugar. Oh yeah, I like brown sugar. You can only do it when it's hot. Little guy, the mixer thing we got from Amazon. I'm sure you guys have seen it like a million times. But that was, I think, what, $12, Pat? One of the best $12 purchases we've ever had. We've been super into Fairlife just because um, the protein in this is amazing for just like a milk. So what is it? It's 13 grams for one cup. No science to this. I know we like milk. <laughs> Every creamer is the only thing that makes it foam, so I need a little bit of that. <laughs> if you want measurements, get the frick out of town. Yeah, we literally both never. Even when I bake, you guys, I'll do rough measurements, which I know people are like, oh, you're good at baking. It's because, you know, you're very exact, things like that. I'm like, oh, I'm not. <laughs> the one on the left will be Pat's. The one on my, on the right will be mine. Sometimes I'll throw in vanilla extract in that too. Yeah. If you want like more of a vanilla or if like when people do other flavors and stuff, you can add it then. So we just threw some ice in the cups. Pat's doing more of this blending stuff that he always does. All right, pour with the blend, that's the key. Keep it nice and chunker. Chunker. Oh. Boom. So here they are. I normally like a... That's good. Could be sweet. Sugar. I could have had brown sugar in this, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> Therefore, that's why I think I make the better coffee, but it is good, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Here is a closer up of the bag and then the belt. I hope that was making sense a little bit earlier. I don't think you, um, I mean, obviously you don't have to have designer things. It's nice to save up for them. Um, I think the quality is amazing, but I am a little bit of a less is more person. So I'd rather just save up and buy one bag every couple years than kind of have a few. I've had some people say, you always carry the same bags in my hauls, but honestly, you guys, just because, um, yeah, I'd rather just kind of invest in some of these nicer designer items and therefore not have as much. Actually, here is my Louis Vuitton bag because it was out since we just got home. Um, but you can see that's just definitely my favorite shape, the squared with the top handle. I've had bags in the past before where they're a little bit bigger and they're like circular and I just don't like it on my body. I think it just, I think something that's very nice about the square, very timeless. And then of course the top handle to put your arm through. You can carry it multiple different ways. All of that. So I am about to, um, I'm gonna go have a coffee with Pat. We are watching the rest of the football game. Um, after we had brunch, we were sitting in our favorite park. I swear it is the most beautiful park in like the world. It's Heisler Park in Laguna Beach. It's stunning ocean, like cliffs into the ocean, flowers, vegetation everywhere is stunning. So many places to sit and just like read or throw the frisbee with Rue. We always take her over there, walk. It's a whole path that you can walk, it's stunning. Anyways, we sat there. Um, my mom and sister had FaceTime, so we talked to them, my whole family, um, and it's actually Actually, some of you may not know this, but I'm actually a twin sister, so I got to talk to my twin today, obviously her birthday as well, but it was just really nice to obviously talk to family. My twin and I are two minutes apart. I'm two minutes longer, or two minutes longer. I am two minutes younger, um, and we've always been pretty different in personalities. I've always been more extroverted than she has, although in the last like 
I don't know, 10 years of our adult life, I feel like she's become more extroverted. I've definitely have become an extrovert, extrovert introvert. I really have recharged like on my own or in silence. Um, I am shocked because moving out here to Southern California, we've been here for over two and a half years now. And Pat and I both have noticed like when people come and visit, we love it. This is the most incredible place in our minds. Um, so it's amazing to have people come, but we definitely realized like, wow, we are so used to it just being the three of us, me, Pat and Rue. And, um, Anytime people visit, we're like, wow, that's like a lot of conversation, you know? I mean, we enjoy it, but I think, yeah, if you're just not used to it, you're just not used to it. So anyways, um, but yeah, my twin has become, I feel like a little more outgoing over the years. Um, she is back in Pittsburgh with the rest of my siblings. All of my other siblings are in Pittsburgh um, in the area. And uh, yeah, my sister is, she's physically disabled and um, I just feel so much inspiration from her. She's so strong and just like her disability is completely unheard of. It's like one in 250 million chance that this kind of happened, but it's a neurological disorder, affects her fine motor skills and movement. And so she is in a wheelchair at this point, but she's just so strong. Um, she's just inspiring. She goes to the gym multiple times a week, all that. Um, there's no mental disability. It's just truly physical. But anyways, she's incredible. I am just always amazed at her. She's so inspiring. So I'm gonna go hang out with Pat, watch the rest of the game, and we'll check back in with you guys later. And it's now quite a few hours later. We've just been kind of hanging out all day. Um, I talked to a couple friends for my birthday, and we are now watching the Rams and Detroit game. We're actually a fan of both teams. We follow the Detroit Lions on like Hard Knocks, and uh, the head coach, Dan Campbell, I don't know, he was a player, right? Anyways, we like the story, so we've been following them, and then also LA Rams, so hoping the Rams win in the end, but we're just watching the game. We made some kind of nachos. They actually look pretty good. Um, <laughs> with like cilantro, we made a queso, but it didn't really work out. But just something easy for dinner tonight. Good morning, you guys. It is the next morning now. So Pat and I just really hung out the rest of the night. Um, got to relax for my birthday. <laughs> Come here, Rue. And uh, it was just like a really nice day all around. We had brunch. I completely took my camera to brunch and completely forgot to pull it out and vlog any of that. Um, I am always, we're so close to Laguna Beach, like under six miles. So I'm actually gonna head over there tomorrow and film like the area that we like brunched in. It's the most beautiful area, I swear, of Orange County. And uh, cause I want you guys to see it. I did film stories for like what we got to eat. So I'll come back and like share what we got and stuff. But I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I feel like vlogging is just like something that's like, it's like a different memory, um, like muscle memory since I haven't done it before. So anyways, I'm kind of gonna put that footage in. I can put it in next. Okay, so this is the restaurant we ate at. It's called Las Brias. Um, they're known for their brunch and kind of like a local thing. I feel like brunch is it versus maybe dinner, but just absolutely stunning in the location. The food that we had there was really good. Um, we did like a pre-fix meal, but like a four-course meal. And we, um, yeah, we really enjoyed it. Obviously, the vibes of we sat outside on the patio and this is just absolutely stunning. This is Laguna Beach. So um, this is Heisler Park and I truly believe it is one one of the most beautiful parks this you can walk all through here and it goes on for like probably a good mile um I should map it out sometime but it is like a nice long walk I always bring people here to do a little walk and like get some cute photos before we go to dinner somewhere um we go to our, our favorite Mexican restaurant that we you can walk by walk from but it is just absolutely stunning the vegetation the flowers it's a cliff down in the beaches all these little coves absolutely stunning um this is one of our favorite places to throw frisbee for ruby i we bring her here at least twice a week um like i said before laguna is six miles so it can take us like i don't know 12 minutes on a good day 20 when it's busy for today's purpose of monday the day after my birthday um it's so random because the steelers play at 1 30 p.m against the buffalo bills pat are huge steelers fan born and raised in pittsburgh um yeah, huge Steelers fan, but it sucks that it's like 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, 4.30 Eastern time. It's kind of weird in general. Like when we watch football games, it's like a lot of times the one o'clock games are 10 a.m. here, which we actually don't mind because I feel like then you can go about doing whatever you're doing the rest of the day, which is kind of nice. So like eight o'clock games, for an example, or five o'clock. So it's kind of hard on Mondays and Thursdays with work. Like Pat's always headed to the gym or like if he comes home, like if the Steelers play on a Thursday or something, or even Monday, he'll come home. We'll kind of rearrange the gym schedule, but it's just weird because it's the game 
game's already starting and he's like driving home. It's kind of strange, but we got used to it pretty quickly moving out here on the West Coast. Um, but anyways, for today's purpose, I kind of, I just got in an Abercrombie order, which was supposed to be part of the order that I had told y'all about that it was gonna be more spring stuff, trousers, like such cute stuff. That package is still lost. They reshipped what was available, which a lot of it is no longer available. So it's really sad. Um, I hope they bring all that back in. It was so adorable. Um, but anyways, I just got the replacement that doesn't have everything. I just got that package in. I thought I would try that on with you guys here in a minute. Well, I'll try it right now. On my new black Levi's, which I had sized up twice, and I should have only sized up once. Of course, I'll leave the link down below. Um, and then this sweater that I just got in is from the brand Pure Cashmere. It is very soft. I really like the fit of it. It has a little bit longer in length. I am doing, I'm working with the brand over on Instagram, and so I'm styling a couple looks with two of the sweaters they sent. But, anyways, one of the items I ordered from Abercrombie this wool blazer went on sale and i know i shared a couple from h m in one of my h m recent hauls and i really like those as well i just love this taupe color if you guys follow if you follow over here you know this is like my favorite color i think it's just like a beautiful neutral i love the softness of like a of a good taupe and i feel like it pairs nicely with all neutrals including obviously cream as well this blazer is a size medium and i think it fits really nicely i had also ordered the large too so i can stick that on um but i do feel like this is a nice overall fit grace about the large because there's no slip back here you know so that might just be a better fit for me to size up with my hips and having a booty um let me throw that on okay i swapped my sweater for this really gorgeous uh, crew neck sweater from the brand Quince. It is 100% cashmere and the sweater is like $50. You guys, the quality on this is incredible. It reminds me of the Nordstrom one that I paid double for that I wear often. Just the softest, 100% Mongolian cashmere. So I really like it, really recommend it too. Um, makes for a beautiful gift as well. But anyways, I wanted to just swap it out so you can kind of see like a lighter tone because this is how I definitely style taupe a lot back with creams. So this is a large, it obviously fits a little bit bigger overall. Um, I feel like I'll have to like style it a few different times to see which size I like. It's definitely just like a, a bigger fit, but I don't know if it's necessarily that bad. I will say this is much, much thinner than the H&M one that I have. This is also thinner than I was expecting, which is also true with their dad coat, the wool dad coat that I shared as well as the tie belt. I feel like both of their all of their coats this year were a little bit thinner on the thinner side for wool which i would just assume it's because years past they've been really heavy maybe people a lot of customers said that they wish it was a little bit of a lighter weight um to me this is just so much more wearable because i would wear it here in southern california it doesn't get as cold i mean we've been dropping to 40 something at night and then even in the summer when it's hot at night it drops so i feel like this is actually very wearable for me but i feel like a lot of you girls that live somewhere pretty dang cold <laughs> you're gonna want to put a coat on top of this very very soft really like it overall the color is perfection i'm just kind of gonna need to decide which size i keep and i just wish that there was a slit in the back here i think that's just more flattering on a curvy body shape which is me that's the only thing i wish there was just like a slit there i think it just helps when you're walking for it not to get caught on the butt. Okay, the next thing I wanna try on is the Curve Love Tailored Premium Crepe Pants. So this is just a little bit of a nicer fabric, should have a nicer drape to it. Now this is like similar to the trousers that I got in from Abercrombie, and they are the Curve Love Sloan Taylor trousers. I had ordered them in such beautiful colors for that Abercrombie couples haul, but they were a part of the package that got completely lost. I do hope they come back in stock. And just in case you guys are new around here, I typically am a size 28.6 in Abercrombie jeans when it's a Curve Love collection, which means it comes in closer to the waist and it has a little bit of extra room for the hips and butt area, so which I need. So for their tailored pants, I always have to size up a few times. These ones are the 31.12 and I got them in a long length, which they look longer than the ones that aren't the premium crepe, just like the regular fabric. They definitely look longer, but let me just stick these on. Um, I may need a regular length. 
Okay, so here they are on. These are the long length. I'm 5'5 five five for reference. I just feel like sometimes with the Abercrombie, I have to get the long length, even in jeans. It really depends on how I'm gonna style them. I think maybe 5'5, five 5'6 five, five is kind of like that, um, kind of depends, I guess, zone. Um, but anyways, it would ha I have to think about how I'm gonna wear them the most. I feel like I'm gonna wear these the most with like little sandal wedges that I always wear, maybe like an inch or two. Um, I wanna throw sneakers on. I think with the premium crepe, I wouldn't really wear sneakers as much. And unfortunately with the premium crepe versus the regular, which I can throw on next, um, these definitely are a little bit bigger in the waist than the other fabric, but I absolutely love the drape of this. I think it is gorgeous. I think it's really, really flattering. This being the lightest color option, I feel like it looks really good on my butt. It doesn't hit anywhere on my butt, like where it would show fat, which is where more self-conscious of like back here sometimes I feel like it just hits so I really really like these want to see how they fit with just adding a little bit of a belt the back is elastic which is really nice um but unfortunately I feel like this is just sitting a little bit bigger than the other ones which I'm gonna throw on next because maybe my comparison is off but I'm gonna stick my new YSL belt on Yeah, that doesn't really cause anything to bunch. Just have to play with the sweater a little bit. I do think this is really, really nice. I absolutely love the pants. I will for sure order more. Um, they are a little bit more of an expensive price, but if they go on sale, I would definitely snag them. I do think these will sell out fast just because they are really nice. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of their pants too. So for me, I got to decide if I want to keep the regular length or, or if I want to keep the long length or if I want to try the regular length, I'll keep you guys updated. But let me go ahead and throw on the regular pants just so you guys can see the difference. I normally don't find trousers that I think look amazing on me, but definitely like there's no hitting on fat back here, which I do think you get with a premium fabric like crepe. It just drapes better. But I also think you get that when you do size up. I know I say it all the time here on my channel, but I am someone I can range from a size small to literally an extra large just based off of how a brand fits, a fabric fits, um, that specific style. I don't care about the size. No one sees it except you. And I just feel like whatever fits and makes you feel confident is the size that you should always keep. So I just want to express that. I've had a couple people message me and they're like, I don't believe that you wear a size four in this and then a 10 in this. And I'm like, well, I can pull it out and show you, but that is how it is. Like brands are not consistent and now there's fabric and how things fit either. It also depends on how you want something to fit. So anyways, let me throw on those regular ones so you girls can see that next. Okay, now y'all can see that even with no belt, this is just a much closer fit to the body. So again, these are the Sloan Curve Love tailored pants. In the regular fabric i do love how those crepe ones drape i mean i feel really good in this too it would be a little more casual just how trousers are currently trending but this again is a 31 which is a size 12. i am in the long length here which it is a little bit long but when i had if you guys remember when i had the regular length i felt like they were too short so i might just be someone that like orders along and still have to get like maybe an inch taken off or like a half inch yeah probably like a half inch um but i just will spend the money on that because i feel like if something fits you well there's just like nothing that compares to that i would rather just feel really good i just kind of have to figure out when i do these kind of like take them to the seamstress i always just have to like try the pants on multiple ways style them like in different ways so i know exactly how i'm going to style them most frequently so i get the right length for that Okay, and then this little tank top I got in from Abercrombie, just a little basic, I got a size medium, and it fits really nicely. The pants I also got in a large long, so these are the crinkle texture pants. They come in lots of different colors. They come in like a long sleeve too that matches, which I think is a really cute set for sure. Like that cool, like you just kind of threw this on, you're going to dinner type thing, or you can style it like in a, I don't know, this is kind of dressed up for me um, where we live, but I also feel like you could break pieces up like wear a blazer with these pants and make it very dressy for work they are just like a crinkled kind of like chiffon material fully aligned which is really nice like i said though i am in a large long i think the mediums would be too tight across here which is where i'm more self-conscious of so i think this is the right size but oh you can even see though just like way too big in the waist um so i would definitely have to get this 
taken in for sure. Okay, and then for the pants being a long, this is kind of what I run into. Like when I walk, this is the good length, but if I had the regular length on, I think it would be too short. Again, I can probably order the larges in in the regular length just to see, to have a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. But I did order these in a medium long, and the mediums fit nicely. So let me throw those on. Um, like I said before, sometimes I feel like I can be like multiple sizes. I just feel like with the lighter wash, I think it's gonna be a little too tight across here if I get the medium. Let me throw the other ones on. I would never wear this together, by the way. Definitely cream up top. Now that I've had the two on, while these fit a little bit more slice tight, tighter to the body, I definitely like the largest better because I feel like this is kind of just hitting me a little bit in my stomach area and I don't like that as much. Plus I feel like this is like tight across the hips. So anyways, I changed my mind. I think the large is the right size for me and then it just depends lengthwise if I wanna try the regular length or if I wanna try, or if I wanna keep the large. Again, the regular would probably be more with sandals maybe even sneakers, the large would be with like these little heeled type sandals that I wear often or just heels. The rest of the afternoon, I am editing a ton of stuff. I have my Abercrombie Couples outfit haul that will go live previous to this video. So I have to finish that up, work on the thumbnail, get everything linked for you guys, linked over in the LTK app, uploaded to YouTube. And then I have two reels that I owe for different brands that I'm partnering with. I gotta get that edited and done as well. And then I have to make sure to get um, a YouTube short up, TikTok up, two TikToks actually today. And then, um, yeah, just kind of like some random other stuff, some bills, things like that. And then randomly enough, the Steelers play in an hour. So it is Monday, January 15th, and the, their game got canceled from yesterday to today. So they're playing at 1.30 Pacific time. Um, so Pat's bummed because he won't, I can't remember if I already mentioned this in the vlog, but he can't watch it. I'll have it on, but you know, it's like the middle of the day, so you have like a whole bunch of other stuff to do. Um, but anyways, I can try to check in with you guys later. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Abercrombie, a little bit of that try on haul stuff. I'm gonna spend the next few hours editing and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys maybe a little bit later before I head to Pilates. Okay, so it's quite a few hours later, the Steelers loss. Um, we are out of the playoffs, season ending. The Bills were honestly just a better team. They're probably just a better team in general right now, so very bummed. <laughs> I'm just throwing my hair in a little ponytail. This top from Abercrombie comes with a ponytail, so that's kind of nice. And then the leggings I have on are from Lululemon. And then I have on these grip socks and sandals from, well, they're both from Amazon, actually. And I'm gonna be out the door, so. I hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog. Would love some feedback, um, but I feel like I need to get into a rhythm and stuff like that. I'm really excited to start vlogging. I'm not sure how often I'm gonna do it, um, only because I was getting up two hauls a week and you guys were asking for more, but just kind of ordering all that stuff and organizing and linking and thumbnails and all that stuff um, it, and editing, it takes a good bit of time. So I'm not sure if I'll rotate a vlog every other week or something. I don't know, I would love for you guys to give some feedback Obviously this is my first vlog, so big learning curve, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for spending the last couple of days with me. And of course, anything I shared or talked through, especially the clothing pieces, are always linked down below in the description box. Follow me over in the LTK app to easily shop anything I share across all social media. Would love for you to join in over on TikTok and Instagram as well. My handle is the same, Brittany and Courtney. And yeah, I'm just very excited for this year, excited for the content to come this year. Um, I love you girls so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope to see you really soon in my next one. Bye.